Hey guys and girls, welcome to the Edge of Real and Cyberspace. Welcome to the weekly Nightwise.com video blog where today it is May 28th, 2012. And, uh, well, we're back at the office. Been away for about three days. Uh, me and Niana took the tent and uh, went up to the north of France in uh, Escal near the uh, city of Calais to spend some lovely days there uh, today together with the doggies in the sunshine, as you can see by my little tan here. But uh, we just got back. I did want to share this little piece of results with you because if you see behind me and you remember this little machine from last week, this is the G4 iMac, 800 megahertz, 786 megabyte, 20 gigabyte hard drive supporting G4 iMac that I bought um, a couple of weeks ago uh, to do a little project on. And as you can see, the little project here has worked. This baby is now sporting Ubuntu, or actually Lubuntu 12.04. So it's, a, it's a Ubuntu 12.04 underneath the hood with the LXDE interface. Um, I have had a little uh, bit of a hard time getting it all working, but uh, it is working and it's only the first phase of um, what I'm going to do with this little machine. But as you may recall, I had a little bit of trouble booting this baby from the CD-ROM. So I put the uh, version of uh, Lubuntu in there, the PPC version that I downloaded, and it didn't want to boot, didn't want to boot. It booted into a widescreen. I thought I had wrecked the processor or the main board. I zapped the PRAM, tried it again, and it wouldn't boot anymore. I just had to eject the CD and then it booted back. But whenever I wanted to try and boot from a CD, it wouldn't work. So I got the original Tiger CD out that I got with this machine and it booted fine, fine off of that. So I was a little puzzled as what was going on. So what I did is I posted some uh, some posts on the uh, Ubuntu forums and I went into the Debian PPC chat room. Now a great guy uh, there helped me out. He said like try booting into the open firmware and then see if you can access this CD. So I did that. I booted into the open firmware and I found the open firmware command which is kind of the Mac BIOS thing to uh, boot from CD-ROM. And whenever I typed uh, in I typed in boot from CD-ROM, it would boot from hard drive. So we thought, what if we type boot from hard drive? And when we did that, it booted off a of CD-ROM. We did boot off a of Yaboot, and Yaboot is a bootloader that is on the Linux CD, on most Linux uh, CDs, and it uses Yaboot as kind of a Kickstarter to install Linux. But once that was done, I could install Ubuntu 12.04 flawlessly. And it is surprisingly fast. I don't have every single thing available on this machine because it's a PowerPC build. I have 99% of the most recent packages, except those that are not recompiled for PPC. And some of them are Flash, which is one. And um, I found out that Chrome also ha doesn't have Chrome and Chromium don't have a PPC port, but this baby does have Firefox 11 uh, on there, so it's it's a pretty recent thing. So I'm going to research uh, it a little bit further because I want to do a podcast episode on it this week on how I did it and how you can do it, what you can do with your old PPC hardware. But I was very, very pleased to, uh, you know, call upon the powers of the internet and get some help out there. So my G4 iMac here, sporting, um, actually quite fast. Um, Lubuntu 12.04. Uh, I did some extra install, some command line commands and stuff like that. That really makes it pop. That really helps it. The screen is a little bit too bright on this camera, but um, it's really nice to use as a, it's really nice to use as a command line interface device and stuff. It looks really good. What I also did is I didn't have Wi-Fi on this baby. There's no air airport card inside, so I just uh, picked up a uh, USB Wi-Fi stick from Linksys and just shoved it in in the USB port and uh, Linux recognized it right away and it also has Wi-Fi. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out this old grimy keyboard with something more exciting because quite frankly it's a second-hand keyboard and those are just plain icky. So stay tuned for the rest of the week on Nightwise.com where we'll be uh, doing a podcast next Wednesday on running... Um, Linux on your PowerPC Macintosh. See you next week. Bye.